Welcome to another episode of Hunting with Pratze and today I just want to show you my hunting style and give you some tips and tricks. First of all I am going to show you how I set up my inventory when I go hunting. So for this hunt I'm going to hunt on Whiteheart Island so I just chose two weapons the 300 bolt action rifle and the crossbow. So I'm putting the weapons always in the middle of the inventory. Then we got black tail, so I take scan for black tails. Also the ground collar, the elk collar also elk scamp spray then we have coyotes and turkeys and white har uh, white tails as well Then of course uh, we are taking the crossbow so we have to take the rangefinder as well as the binoculars. And on Whiteheart Island there is plenty of trees so I am taking the tree stand with me. Also important the scan eliminator and some wind indication spray. Now I'm just filling the slots, having my rifle as primary weapon and the crossbow as the second. Then also the ground crawler and the scan eliminator. So I spawn on the lodge and the very first thing I always do is just um, deciding where I want to go. Here I just, for example, I'm going to this tower and by clicking on the map you have a red dot on the map that you can follow and you see it on the hunter mate. I also actually use the scan eliminator a lot, but this is just, uh, some people might say it's a waste, I just like to have it on. Then loading the weapon, of course, always never forget that. Then when walking I'm facing down to the ground, then I hit the X key that is the free look so that way you don't have the hunter mate in your face and you can just walk and look around that's what I always do then after a while I most of the time I decide to go prone um, it might be okay to just walk upright when roaming but that's something you decide. When I want to check the area with the binoculars I always exit the free look so, so always when walking I'm just facing to the ground and I hit the free look button and this way I can just look around and don't have the hunter mate in my face. When there is something in my way I use the side step keys to go around them. This way I don't have to change direction all the time. If I have to I exit the free look I turn where I want to go, the direction, and 
hit it again and this way I found out is quite comfortable once you are used to it. Um, spotting animals is always best at meadows. These are light green on the map. So it's all always interesting to check there. Here I am on a such meadow and first I always look with my bare eye because with some practice you will see if there is an animal or not and then I use the binoculars after scanning the area. If you want to set up a tree stand or ground blind for example there's a nice trick you can do. You just take the rangefinder and find out where the 100 meters distance is. And then when you are clicking your left button, there will be a dot on the hunter's mate's map. And 100 meter is the spook distance of a ground blind or a tree stand. So this way you always know if it's safe to set up a tree stand or ground blind when you hear a call. You can see it now here. The distance would be still able to set it up. Scans are actually exactly the same as a call. It just does stay longer and it gives you the possibility to go a distance away from it and just watch all the animals that are attracted to it. This way it is easier to not miss the big trophy that is like following a distance behind the herd or something. It can be very helpful for the ground blind. It is very crucial to find a good position. How I set it up here it is not very good because it is facing towards the ground too much and you have all that stuff in your face. So it's always worth finding a good position like this where you have a much better view. Here you can see the drawing that you always get when you are harvesting an animal. You also can see the organs. However, the actually 3D model is not completely according to this drawing that you see when you are harvesting an animal. So always, I'd always try to keep that 3D model in mind when aiming for vitals, like for the organs. Especially the herd is much more at the front of the deer and much more lower. Here you can see a hard shot. This is where I am aiming for hard shots. quite different to the position the hardest on that drawing, isn't it? And here I'm aiming for the lungs. So basically you will have to practice to find out to aim for the vital organs. In the next game update we will get True Rex, which is the true random antler configuration system. Um, in short words it means that the antlers of the deers will be truly random configurated. Here 
you can see some preview screenshots that I took from the forum. So this is work in progress pictures and uh, they will still put a lot more work into it and I also saw some live gameplay from the developers that they were broadcasting and streaming and I just can tell you it is awesome, it looks fantastic so this is something we all can really look forward to and with that I'm saying goodbye and happy hunting to you all